Hey everybody, it's Under My Cat, and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Minecraft slash scoreboard command. Now, I'm going to do a step by step tutorial, and most of the video is probably going to be in the command line, uh, just because the scoreboard command is much more easier and you don't really have to repeat it a lot. So, there's two main parts to the Minecraft scoreboard command. Now, there's the objectives and players. Now, objectives is the thing that we're going to be doing the most because it actually sets the rules in which the Minecraft uh, program has to gather data. Now, the scoreboard command actually gathers that data and inputs it into a thing where you can actually view uh, everyone's scores. So you can have kill counts, you can have a certain blocks breaking, um, all of those things, and they can all be shown with the scoreboard command. Players is basically just all the rules or all the um, kind of like default operations you can do to like reset the data or change the data. And this is useful if you want to reset a kill count or health count. You just type in reset and then you type in um, all the players and then the data pack. Uh, but since we don't have any set yet, then we'll have to uh, create one. So first you want to actually add an objective. So we'll type in, we'll press add and you'll see nothing else pops up and that's because it's asking for a name. So let's just do health. And basically, so after you type in the title or the name for it, you then select your rule. Now, since I said health, let's try and do health. So I'll press health here. And as you can see, we're gonna add an objective called health, which is then testing for all player health. So when I press enter, it will say that we've added a new objective. As you can see, it's not going to show anything yet, and that's because I actually haven't set the display. Now, set display is another command in the objectives, and basically what it does is it sets where you want to show that objective. So if you wanted to set it below the name so that if you're playing online with people, you can see their health, or in a list, uh, I'm pretty sure the list is the thing at the top um, when you're playing on a server, shows everyone online and the sidebar is actually what most servers use and it's just the little box in the middle of the screen that's located on the right so we'll just use that for now and we'll put oh i have created one put health and press enter so as you can see we've now added it to the sidebar uh, but nothing shows and that's because we actually haven't changed the health or because i'm in creative okay so as you can see nothing's popped up but when I refresh, you can see that my health appears in the corner at the very edge of the screen. As you can see, whenever I take damage, you can see it slowly go down and my health goes to zero. Now this is really cool because it's constantly updating and it's uh, really cool to show your stuff with your friends. Let's add a new objective. Add and we'll do food. Here's the food, so I'll press that. Enter. Now we've created a new objective. And now we'll go back here to set display, sidebar, food. And as you can see, it disappears. And that's because we've actually replaced the scoreboard health with food. Have a look at minutes. Okay, as you can see, when... Let's run around and try and get rid of some hunger. Now you'll start to notice after I run around for a little bit of time, you'll notice uh, that my hunger will go down and the scoreboard should update. Might have to just amplify it by 10, see if that does anything, 50. There we are. So as you can see, now that I've updated my hunger, uh, oh gosh, that's going down quite fast. Uh, you can see that it's updating in the food uh, column or the food scoreboard. Okay, so now that we've got the uh, that part of the scoreboard uh, command done, let's go back and go modify command. Now the modify, uh, basically, you just select the command you want to do, or the, the what do you call it, objective that you want to modify. If you want to change the display name, you would just simply type a new display name in. There we are. You can change the display name like this. If I did a, f a whole bunch of numbers, you can see I've changed the display name. Now, basically, the next part is list. List just shows you all of the types of ob objectives you have. Remove removes it. So if I did that, it will remove that objective. If I, um, let's say, removed health, it will also remove that objective as well. 
Now let's go into the next part, which is the players. Now players actually is just a whole bunch of operations which, or a whole bunch of commands which allow you to customize the uh, scoreboard further. So if you reset, let's say, if I reset at a food, you'll notice it will go away and that's because I've resetted it. And then you'll notice if I do get hungry again, it will come back. Okay, as you can see, I'll walk around and you'll start to notice that the scoreboard will then start updating. And then if I do change or remove, if I reset it again, reset a food, it will disappear until it notices my hunger change again. So let's actually go into next bit, players, Remove, removes the, well, removes the scoreboard for different players. The get actually shows what their score is. So if I did this and this, it will tell me that the player has the certain amount or the certain number. And then it'll also give you the name of the, um, the objective. Set also will also change it. So if I did this, I can actually change the score to let's say that. And... Oh, okay. So with certain objectives, you can uh, change it, but since food is a read-only and that the game can override it, you can't do it with this command. Okay, so that's basically the main part of the command. Now let's get into the next bit, which is called dummy. So I'm going to get a command block just to help explain this a little better. So basically the dummy command is just a scoreboard which you can override. Um, it's not... The game doesn't override it, the actual player or command block overrides it. So if we did scoreboard, objectives, add, and then we'll say test one, and then we'll do dummy, and um, display name can be uh, 10. Okay, so now let's go into scoreboard. And basically what you want to do now is you want to set the display to sidebar and test one. Now, as you can see, so now that we've done this, well, I don't think you need the next bit, we can actually change that. So if we went to this and we went to player scoreboard, um, of players, let's set this, this to 50. And if I did that to that, you'll notice that I've set it to 50. Now, as you can see, if I did want to change it to like 40, um, change it to 40, and if I want to change it to any other number, it will change it to that. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like this video, please leave a like and also subscribe with the bell icon just so that you can get notified whenever I post a new video or do a live stream. Also, please comment any suggestions, any questions, um, they're all in, well, just comment it all down there and I'll try and answer it as much as I can. And if you do want to know more, I do have a website and it's undermycap.com. If there is a blog post, just check in the description as well because there might be a blog post uh, all about this command and you can copy the commands that I did in the video and use them in your worlds. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya.